Greetings and welcome to the virtual presentation of the Albany chapter of Jack and Jill of America's 2020 Bow Class. I am Dr. Kendra Huff, co-chair of the 2019-2020 Botillion Committee. This year marks the 20th biannual presentation of Bows to Our Community. The mothers of our chapter, along with community elders, have worked tirelessly this past year to facilitate the transition of 46 young males to men in our community through our traditional rites of passage program, culminating with the Botillion Military Presentation. This year's presentation holds different because of COVID-19. Because of large group restrictions, we were forced to present a virtual presentation of our boat class. All both families had an opportunity to participate in this virtual presentation. Understandably, some families chose not to participate. Even so, we will present all bows in our virtual presentation. So today, we celebrate. We celebrate the completion of a year-long journey from boyhood to manhood. We celebrate a man among men. Before we proceed, let us remember and honor our ancestors through prayer. Community Elder Reverend John Williams will lead us in a prayer. Reverend Williams, an Albany native and Westover High School graduate, is a United States Air Force veteran and serves professionally as a hospice chaplain. Let us pray. First of God and Father, we pause now to say thank you for your mercy and your grace. We thank you for things as it is right now, knowing that you're God all by yourself. As we now uh, pause for this momentous occasion, oh Father, celebrating the rites of passage of these young men. Oh Father, maturing from uh, boys to men, we ask, oh Father, that you would just uh, put a covering upon them. Father, as we pause and digress, we want to recognize even uh, our ancestors that were before us to have paved the way. Many have hard times and trials and tribulations, but yet you allowed us to journey through all of those situations to arise to a moment like now. And we just want to say thank you. We ask now, Father, that these young men matric matriculate, oh Father, we ask, oh Father, that you would just raise them up to be godly men, oh Father, that your uh, hedge of protection would be upon them, oh Father, that you would just continue to bless them in all of their endeavors, oh Father, that they would go through life intentionally, intentionally be uh, purposefully, that they will, oh Father, find favor in your sight, not only favor, but mercy and grace. Father, as that everything that they touch will be blessed, O oh Father. We lift up, O oh Father, this program of Jack and Jill, O oh Father, that you would just continue to bless it for the many years to come and generation after generation. And we'll be careful to give your name the glory and the praise. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Williams, for honoring our ancestors through prayer. Greetings. I am Alfreda Shepard, a member of the 2019-2020 Botillion Committee. The Albany chapter of Jack and Jill would like to introduce our MCs for the 2020 Botillion Militaire, A Man Among Men. Mr. Martez Favis, a member of the 2004 Bow Class, is a hometown native of Albany, Georgia. A graduate of Westover High School, Albany State University, Lesley University, and Columbus State University. Mr. Favis is a published author and his book, Soar, Successfully Overcoming Artificial Restrictions, was part of the learning phase this year. Mr. Michael McCoy is a native of Waco, Texas and longtime Albany resident. He is a graduate of Prairie View A&M University and Clark Atlanta University and has chosen a career as a professional public administrator. He serves as the county administrator for Doherty County, Georgia. Mr. McCoy has many talents, among them culinary skills. He led the Real Men Cook program, as he has done for several bow classes. Greetings, I am Michael McCoy. I am Martez Favis. Thank you, Reverend Williams, for honoring our ancestors through prayer. Despite the current world events, 
We are excited to MC this virtual version of the 20th Biannual Botillion Militaire, sponsored by the amazing Albany chapter of Jack and Jill of America Incorporated. Black Lives Matter. And we are here celebrating 46 special black lives. Future leaders in our community. Men among men. Our 2019-20 Botillion Military Class. Jordan Anderson. Bo Jordan Anderson is the son of Erica Donaldson and Donald Anderson. He is the grandson of Diana Donaldson and the great-grandson of Bishop John and Inez Thomas. Jordan is a senior at Westover High School, where he serves as parliamentarian of the Future Business Leaders of America. He is also a member of HOSA, DECA, the Beta Club, and the Art Club. Bo Anderson is a member of the varsity swim team and track team at Westover High. He is also a member of the Kappa League mentoring program. After graduation, Jordan plans to attend college and major in aeronautical or mechanical engineering. Bo Anderson's future goal is to become a pilot. Jordan's favorite inspirational quote comes from Albert Einstein. The important thing is to not stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. In Bo Anderson's words, becoming a man means to serve someone or something greater than yourself. Bo Anderson attends Greater Grace Church of God in Christ. Once again, presenting Bo Jordan Anderson. Bo Haven Brady II. Bo Haven Brady is the son of Haven and Kiva Brady. He has one brother, Kevon Chase Brady. He is the grandson of Keith Farmer and the late Kathy Frazier and Glenda Brady and the late Calvin Brady. Haven is a senior at Westover High School where he is a member of the FBLA club and the USA boxing team. Bo Haven is an honor student at Westover High School and he is duly enrolled at Albany Technical College. When he's not attending school, Bo Haven Brady serves as a trainer to at-risk youth, at youth at Beat the Streets Boxing. After graduation, Haven plans to attend a four-year university in the Atlanta area and pursue a professional boxing career. Bo Haven's favorite inspirational quote is, a man who has no imagination has no wings, from Muhammad Ali. In Bo Haven's words, becoming a man means you are someone others can count on. Whether it's simply doing what they say they'll do or being at the right place at the right time, becoming a man means being consistent. Bo Haven attends Greater Faith and Deliverance where he serves on the usher board. Presenting Bo Haven Brady II. Bo Jacorian Brown. Bo Jacorian Brown is the son of Frederick Brown and Letitia Moore. He is the grandson of Grace Moore and the late Philip Moore Sr. and Freddie and Patricia Brown. Jacorian is a junior at Westover High School where he serves as a member of National Honor Society and Westover Marching Band. Bo Jacorian is enrolled at Albany State University through dual enrollment. When he's not attending school, Bo Jacorian serves as a camp counselor at a STEM camp, helps clean up the community, and enjoys working out at the gym. After graduation, Jacorian plans to attend Tennessee State University, Jackson State University, or Talladega College. After college, he plans to enter the military and serve in the United States Army. Bo Jacorian's favorite inspirational quote comes from Maya Angelou. There is no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside you. In Bo Jacorian's words, becoming a man means getting knowledge, motivation, and wisdom from your fellow brothers and helping others to become a man among men. Jacorian attends Mount Zion Baptist Church, presenting Bo Jacorian Brown. Bo Gabriel Charles. Bo Gabriel Vincent Ivan St. Clair Charles is the son of Pastor Vincent 
and co-pastor Leslie Charles and the brother of Olivia B. Charles. Gabriel is a faithful member of Greater Faith and Deliverance Ministries Incorporated. He serves as a keyboard player as well as the leader of the Holy Drip Squad Males Ministry Step Team. He is currently a dual enrolled and graduating senior at Westover High School and Albany Technical College, where he is an honor roll student who maintains a 3.5 GPA. Gabriel plans to attend Jackson State University in the fall to pursue a degree in political science and a minor in music. He is a member of the Marching Westover Patriots Band, where he has received numerous band awards. He also serves as the president of the Together Organization, a member of the DECA Club, FBLA, the Green Team, and the Yearbook Staff. Both Gabriel's and Dinkra's symbol means he who does not know can know from learning. Gabriel's favorite quote is, it is better to work hard now and live easy in the future than to live easy now and work hard in the future. His inspirational quote is, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. These principles inquire Gabriel to avoid the spirit of procrastination. His faith reminds him that the God that lives on the inside is far greater than anything. Presenting Bo Gabriel Charles. Bo Kendall Coleman. Bo Kendall Jerron Coleman is the son of Mr. Willie and Kenosha Coleman. He has one sister, Sanaya, and a family dog, Arlie. He is currently a junior at Westover High School, where he maintains a 3.5 GPA. Bo Kendall plans to attend a four-year university to pursue a degree in engineering. Kendall is a member of the National Honor Society. In addition, this talented Bo received Star Student Award for Business and Soft Skills at the Commodore Conyers College and Career Academy. Bo Kendall's Adinkra symbol means by God's grace. Kendall says, I chose this symbol because it is the symbol of faith and trust in God. Bo Coleman's favorite quote is some people want it to happen. Some wish it would happen. Others make it happen. This quote inspires Kendall to make it happen and not wait for things to happen for him. Presenting Bo Kendall Coleman. Bo Eldrick Coleman Jr. Bo Eldrick Coleman is the son of Eldrick Coleman Sr. and Tanjanika Lester. He is the grandson of John and Jocelyn Lester and Charles and Patricia Tolbert. Bo Eldrick is a junior at Monroe Comprehensive High School where he is a varsity football player, serves on the student advisory board, co-captain of the Robotics Club, member of FCCLA, and member of the Academic Decathlon. He also serves as the vice president of the junior class and member of the National Society of High School Scholars. He was voted as the Albany Herald Student Athlete of the Month for December 2019. Bo Eldrick is enrolled at Albany Technical College. After graduation, Bo Eldrick plans to attend Howard University and upon graduation, attend a pharmacy doctoral program. Eldrick's favorite inspirational quote is, hard work beats talent when talent fails to show up. In Bo Eldrick's words, becoming a man means taking responsibility of my actions and always showing respect for others. Bo Eldrick Coleman attends Sanctuary of Grace Church, presenting Bo Eldrick Coleman Jr. Bo Tariq Davis Jr. is the son of Mr. Tariq Davis Sr. and Miss Valerie Hunt. He is currently a senior at Monroe High School where he maintains a 3.5 GPA. Bo Tariq plans to attend South Georgia State in the fall to pursue a degree in pre-med nursing. Bo Tariq is a member of the Beta Club and a captain of his track and field team. He is a former member of GCAPS. Bo Tariq's Adinkra symbol means God's grace and all will be well. He said, I chose this symbol because it also means magnificent, change, growth, and infinite possibilities.
possibilities. Bo Tariq's favorite quote is, once we believe in ourselves, we can risk curiosity, wonder, spontaneous delight, or any experience that reveals the human spirit, E.E. E. Cummings. Lastly, becoming a man means taking care of your responsibilities and allowing yourself to grow and change. Presenting Mr. Tariq Davis Jr. Bo Emanuel Dean is the son of Victory Owens and Stephen Dean. He is the grandson of James and Betty Dean and Kenneth Owens and Kathy Parrish. Emmanuel is a senior at Doherty Comprehensive High School where he serves on the student council, beta club, debate team, and mock trial team. Emmanuel played football for three years, basketball for two, track for two years. He served as class president for two and a half years at Bacon County High School. Bo Emmanuel also is enrolled at Albany State University where he will receive his associate's degree in May. When he's not in school, Bo Emanuel serves on the Praise Dance Ministry and is a youth leader. He is an activist for the African American race. After graduation, Emanuel plans to attend Morehouse, where he will major in political science and minor in psychology. After practicing law, he plans to become a judge. As a future man of Morehouse, he plans to use his platform there to further his endeavors in fighting the war towards progression. In Bo Dean's words, becoming a man means learning who I am as an individual and standing on principles. A man is the head, not the tail. A boy looks to be fed, but a man will do what it takes to feed his family. A man shows good character, charisma, and leadership. A man accepts his flaws and prays to make changes. A man, most of all, keeps God as the head of his life. Emmanuel attends Pleasant Hill Missionary Baptist Church under the leadership of Terry Whitaker. Presenting Bo Emanuel Dean. Bo Jeremiah Jacob Dennis is the son of Mr. Jason Dennis and Miss Ursula Mathis Dennis. He is currently a junior at Westover Comprehensive High School, where he maintains a 3.0 GPA. Bo Jeremiah plans to attend Texas A&M, Georgia Tech, West Point, or Florida State in the fall of 2021 to pursue a degree in engineering. As a member of the Standing Ovation Choir and Westover Chorus, Jeremiah travels and participates in state and national competitions. Jeremiah is a Taekwondo Black Belt and Leadership Award recipient for Martial Arts USA. Bo Jeremiah's Adipra symbol means the heart. Jeremiah says, I chose this symbol because it embodies me and represents my desire to achieve excellence in all things. My genuine love for people, my acceptance of my authenticity, and my ability to accept, appreciate, and embrace my differences, challenges, and uniqueness. Jeremiah feels the following qualities make you a man. Knowledge without pride, pride without attitude, right attitude with humbleness, humbleness in spite of success, success with kindness, kindness without a selfish motive, motivation with a positive attitude, appreciating others, respecting others, regardless of their background and status, truthfulness and straightforwardness, love and respect for all, acknowledge God in all things, give thanks, know the power of prayer. Presenting Bo Jeremiah Dennis. Bo Nicholas Dixon is the son of Erica Dixon and the grandson of 
John E. and Karen Harris, and William and Altamese Dixon. He is the great grandson of Eutis Pittman, though Nicholas is a senior at Lee County High School, where he serves as a starting shooting guard on the varsity boys basketball team. He was recognized with the Honorary Student Athlete Award. After high school, Nicholas plans to attend college, participate on the men's basketball team, and major in sports medicine. Bo Nicholas's favorite inspirational quote comes from the late, great Kobe Bryant. Everything, negative, pressure, challenges, and all an opportunity for me to rise. In Bo Dixon's words, becoming a man means to do the right thing, protect my family, and be a solid contributor to any community. Therefore, I must be consistent in my responsibilities to my family and community. Becoming a man means to remain humble, stay disciplined, and continue to grow. Bo Nicholas Dixon attends Bright Star Baptist Church in Blakely, Georgia. Presenting Bo Nicholas Dixon to Darian Edwards Jr. Bo Tadarius Edwards is the son of DeAndre Edwards and the late Pan Darian Edwards Sr. He is the grandson of John and Jean Clemens and Robert and the late Annie Edwards. Bo Tadarian is a junior at Monroe Comprehensive High School where he serves as a member of the Public Safety Club. Bo Tadarian is also enrolled at Albany Technical College through dual enrollment. Bo Tadarian's favorite inspirational quote is, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. In Bo Tadarian's words, becoming a man means being driven by concrete values and having a vision for his future. A man is respected respectful, fierce, fierce-hearted, yet wise-minded, protects his family, fearless, and is successful in his endeavors, but is not consumed by his success. Bo Tadarian Edwards attends Sanctuary of Grace, where he actively is involved in the youth department. Bo Tadarian Edwards Jr. Bo Marco Rodolfo Foster II is the son of Marco Rodolfo Foster Sr. and Mrs. Christina Nicole Foster. He is currently a junior at Westover High School where he is maintaining a 2.67 GPA. Bo Marco plans to attend the University of Miami to pursue a degree in biology. This year, Bo Foster was named the all-region second team in football. All right, Bo Marco's Adinkra symbol means help me and let me help you. Marco says, I chose this symbol because it reflects how I like to help people. Bo Foster's favorite quote is success is never owned, it's rented, and rent is due every day. This quote inspires Marco to work hard daily and to always stay focused. Lastly, becoming a man means that I can provide for my loved ones and for myself. Presenting, Bo Marco Foster II. Bo Jason Griswold. Bo Jason Andrew Griswold is the son of Mr. Emmett and Marquita Griswold and is currently a senior at Doherty High School where he maintains a 3.4 GPA. Bo Jason plans to attend a four-year institution in the fall to pursue a degree in logistics and intermodal transportation. Bo Jason is a member of the Doherty High School robotics team, serves as captain, and is a tenor saxophone player in the Doherty High band. Bo Jason's Adinkra symbol means adaptability. Bo Jason says, I chose this symbol because it describes me as I see myself adaptable. I truly believe that
that I can adapt to anything that life may have in store for me. Bo Jason's favorite quote is, I am what time, circumstance, history have made of me. Certainly, because I am also much more than that. So are we all. James Baldwin. Lastly, becoming a man means developing a spiritual relationship with God, keeping his commandments, and fulfilling my true purpose in life. Presenting Bo Jason Griswold, Bo Brendan Harper. Bo Brendan Harper is the son of Janelle Harper and Elvin Mallory. He is the grandson of Marion Stevens. Brendan is a senior at Lee County High School where he serves as a back-to-back -back state champion in football and a region runner-up in track and field. Brendan's proudest moment is being selected to join the All-American Down Under track team competing in Australia this summer. After graduation, Brendan plans to attend Georgia Southern and get his degree in kinesiology and exercise science. He will use this to pursue a career in physical training. Brendan's favorite inspirational quote comes from Buddha. What we think, we become. In Brendan Harper's words, becoming a man means being secure and confident, but not arrogant. It means he treats everyone with respect until they give him a reason not to. Bo Brendan Harper attends Mount Zion Baptist Church. Presenting Bo Brendan Harper, Bo Marcus Hodges Jr. Bo Marcus K. Hodges is the son of Marcus Hodges and Andrea Hodges. He is currently a junior at Westover High School. Marcus is certified in Microsoft Publisher and Excel. In his spare time, Marcus enjoys playing basketball, games, reading, and more. Bo Hodges plans to attend a four-year university to become an advertising executive with a top firm. Presenting Bo Marcus Hodges Jr. Bo Emmanuel Owner. Bo Emmanuel Jabri Owner is the son of Mr. Sean and Mrs. Takeda Owner. He is the grandson of Ethel Lee Owner and Mr. and Mrs. Willie F. Burton Sr. Emmanuel is a junior at Lee County High School where he serves as a member of the FCA at the FCA. Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Lee County football team, track and swim team. After graduation, Emmanuel plans to attend college where his plan is to focus on criminal justice or join a branch of the military. Emmanuel's favorite inspirational quote comes from Mark Twain. It is not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. In Bo Emmanuel's words, Becoming a man means you are prepared to handle the challenges of life and to plan for the life you want to have. Emmanuel attends Mount Zion Baptist Church where he serves as a junior deacon, a member of the Youth Bank, the Youth Praise Dancers, and the Youth Offering Committee. Presenting Bo Emmanuel Hone, Bo Baron Hobson. Bo Baron Carlos Hobson is the son of of Mr. Granger and Camilla Hobson. He is currently a junior at Lee County High School where he maintains a 4.36 GPA. Bo Barron plans to attend an undecided university in the fall of 2021 to pursue a degree in business. He is a member of the Beta Club and Student Leadership Board. In addition, this talented Bo has received scholarships from over 15 Division I universities to play football. Bo Barron's Adikra symbol means linked hearts. Barron says, I chose this symbol because it represents understanding and agreement. Bo Hobson's favorite quote is, it's not bragging if you can back it up, by Muhammad Ali. This quote inspires Barron because it represents the mentality you have to have in any area of life and if you work hard enough to be the best. Lastly, becoming a man means being able to make adjustments in order to provide for the ones you love. It is doing what you have to do in 
order to make sure everyone that provided for you when you needed it is provided for when they are the ones in need. Presenting Bo Baron Hobson, Bo James Hobson, Bo James Arnold Hobson II is the son of Mr. Granger Hobson and Mrs. Camilla Hobson. He is a senior at Lee County High School where he maintains a 4.328 GPA. Bo James plans to attend Duke University this fall to pursue a degree in business. James is a member of Beta Club, Environmental Club, National Honor Society, and his high school football team. This year, Bo Hobson was named an honor graduate, Georgia Merit Scholar, and an AP Scholar. Moreover, this talented Bo has been named an All-Region Football Player of the Year. Bo James and Dikra symbol means what I hear, I keep symbolizing wisdom and knowledge. James says, I chose this symbol because it reminds me that everything in life offers me a lesson and it's my responsibility and it's my responsibility to use these lessons to my advantage in future situations. Bo Hobson's favorite quote is, if you didn't aim too high, then you aim too low. This quote inspires James to always set his goals high and to step out of his comfort zone because no one can get better by being content. Lastly, becoming a man means accepting the responsibility of serving a purpose greater than yourself. Presenting Bo James Hobson. Bo Nylon Michael Johnson is the son of Mike and Alma Johnson. He is currently a senior at Westover Comprehensive High School. Nylon is a member of the Symphony and Marching Bands, Student Council, National Honor Society, Beta Club, Yearbook Staff, Robotics Club, Skills USA, and, and Body. He has served as Vice President of the Student Council and President of his freshman class, an avid volunteer with several community organizations. Nyland has participated in food drives, fundraisers, and marathons. After graduation, Nyland plans to attend Florida A&M University or join the United States Marine Corps. His goal is to become either a military psychologist or park ranger. Presenting Bo Nyland Johnson. Bo Cameron Jones is the son of Tanya Nelson and Michael Jones. He is the grandson of Mary Ann Nelson and Edward Nelson and Cornelia Jones and Frederick Jones. Bo Cameron is a junior at Westover High School where he serves as a member of the Westover Patriots Marching Band. He is an AP honor roll student. Bo Cameron is also enrolled at Albany Technical College, which he attends through dual enrollment. After graduation, Cameron plans to attend Southern University of North Carolina A&T and major in mechanical engineering. After receiving his degree, he plans to work for NASA and Lockheed Martin. Bo Cameron's favorite quote comes from President Barack Obama. Change will not come if we wait some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we see. In Bo Cameron's words, becoming a man means being responsible for the choices one makes in life. It also means being reliable, being honest, facing challenges and fears, and taking care of one's family. Cameron attends Mount Zion Baptist Church in Albany, Georgia. Presenting Bo Cameron Jones. Bo Kaysen Lamar Jones is the son of Mr. Eddie and Mrs. Bernice Jones. He is the grandson of Mr. and Mrs. Rufus Battle and Mr. and Mrs. Eddie Jones Sr. A Monroe Comprehensive High School student, Kaysen is a member of the varsity football team and a track and field team member. A skilled runner, Bo Kaysen is the 400-meter state champion. He also was all-region honorable mention 
the area of football. An active member of the community, Kaysen volunteers with Champs and the Albany ARC. When he is not busy with school or sports, Kaysen enjoys running, working out, and listening to music. In the future, Kaysen would like to attend Tulane University and major in biology to pursue a career in physical therapy. Go Kaysen, Lamar Jones attends Mount Zion Baptist Church where he serves as an usher. Presenting Kaysen Jones. Bo Preston W. Jones is the son of the late Wardell Jones III and Mr. and Mrs. Winfred and Charlize Dukes. He is the grandson of Mr. and Mrs. Wardell Jones II and the late William Noble and Dr. Alma G. Noble. Preston is a junior at Deerfield Winter School where he maintains a 4.32 GPA a member of the football, basketball, and track teams. Preston is also a member of the Beta Club, Science Club, and Yearbook Committee. Nightlife leader, Preston is the recipient of the Daughters of Liberty Leadership Award. Preston is a two-time recipient of Head School Award for maintaining all A's for two consecutive years. Most recently, Preston was named a Laws of Life essay honorable mention. Preston is a member of the Albany chapter of Jack and Jill of America, where he has served as president and vice president of the teams. Viewed as a regional leader, Preston was appointed to serve as the chair and nominating committee for the 2020 team convention. Preston's future aspirations include attending Howard University and majoring in political science to become a lawyer. Bo Preston Jones attends Mount Zion Baptist Church in Albany, Georgia, where he serves as a junior deacon. Presenting Bo Preston Jones. Bo Will Jones III is the son of Mr. Willie Jones Jr. and Stephanie Edwards, and the grandson of Nelson Robinson and Beverly Robinson and Willie Jones Sr. and Kareem Hayton. Bo Will is a hard-working student athlete who dispels the notion that athletes are not academically gifted. He maintains a 3.5 grade point average at Westover Comprehensive High School and is dual enrolled at Albany Technical College. Bo Will is one of the captains of the Westover Comprehensive School's varsity football team and was chosen homecoming king by the student body. After graduation, Bo Will plans to attend college and pursue a degree in biology. He plans to further his education by attending medical school and ultimately becoming a highly sought after pediatrician. The Adinkra symbol that Bo Will has chosen represents bravery and strength. His favorite inspirational quote is, God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. Bo Will says, it means one should never give up regardless of the difficulty of the situation. Presenting Willie Jones III. Bo Jotavius Onichis Judge is the son of Mrs. Bonita McKinney and Mr. Joel Judge. He is the grandson of Mr. and Mrs. John Will McKinney Sr. Essie and Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Judge, Del Maria. Jotavius is a junior at the incomparable Monroe Comprehensive High School, where he is an honor roll student and has maintained a B average. He is a proud member of the Golden Tornadoes football team, where he has played for the last three years. He is also on the wrestling team, where he received the Most Valuable Player Award. After graduation, Jotavius plans to attend Mercer University, majoring in mechanical and electrical engineering. Jotavius' favorite inspirational quote comes from his grandmother, Essie McKinney, who says, all things are possible if you only believe. This quote inspires Jotavius because he feels life it's all about making adjustments to get where you need to be. 
in bold judges' words, becoming a man means you become a man not when you reach a certain age, but when you reach a certain state of mind. Jotavius attends New Destiny Church under the leadership of his uncle, Pastor Bobby McKinney. Presenting Bo Jotavius Judge. Bo Brian Keith. Bo Brian Keith is the son of Lisa Keith and the late Brian Keith. He is the grandson of Mr. and Mrs. Charles Daniels and Mr. Robert Wright and the late Mrs. Edine Wright. Brian is a junior at Westover High School where he serves as a member of the Westover Marching Band. Bo Brian Keith also is enrolled at Albany Technical College and he's not in school. Bo Keith serves as a band liaison, assisting in aspects of band. After graduation, Brian plans to attend North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University and major in engineering. Brian's favorite inspirational quote comes from Albert Einstein. Logic will get you from point A to point B. Imagination will take you everywhere. In Bo Keith's words, becoming a man means taking responsibility for my actions. Brian attends Scott Chapel United Methodist Church where he serves as a junior usher. Presenting Bo Brian Keith. Bo Jordan Kirksey. Bo Jordan Isaiah Kirksey is the son of Miss Crystal J. Washington and Mr. and Mrs. Felipe D. Kirksey. He is currently a junior at Lee County High School where he maintains a 3.0 GPA. Bo Jordan plans to attend Valdosta State University fall of 2021 to pursue a degree in music education. A member of the Lee County Marching Band. This year, Bo Kirksey participated in District Honor Band in Tipton, Georgia. Jordan received a superior for the performance. Bo Jordan's Andinkra symbol means God never dies, therefore I cannot die. Bo Jordan's favorite quote, you have to accept failure to get better. This quote inspires Jordan because most times things do not go as planned and that is perfectly all right. Lastly, becoming a man means to be able to be responsible. My father taught me what it means to be a man. As a young boy, I was searching my own way of becoming a man. I learned a lot from observing my dad. He taught me the price of greatness is responsibility. Presenting Bo Jordan Kirksey. Bo Gregory Lott. Bo Gregory James Lott is the only child of Jan Cynthia Roberts Lott and Gregory Lott. Gregory was trained and nurtured by his mother, grandparents James and Polly Roberts, and stepfather Robert Davenport. He is currently a senior at Monroe High School, where he maintains a 3.0 GPA. Gregory plans to attend college in the fall to pursue a degree in engineering. He is a fourth-year member of the STEAM Academy, a member of the marching band and concert band, where he plays in the percussion section. The baseball team, where he made all-region player for three years in a row. Gregory is a member of Bethel AME Church. Gregory's and Dinkra symbol means endurance. Gregory says, I chose this symbol because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Gregory's favorite quote is, believe you can and you're halfway there. This quote inspires Gregory because if you don't believe in yourself, or what you can do, no one else will either. Lastly, becoming a man, to me, means having integrity, humility, being self-confident, and just being able to take care of myself and my family. Presenting Bo Gregory, Bo Joshua Lowe. Bo Joshua Cameron Lowe is the son of Fremont Lowe and Lazelda Lowe. He is the grandson of Miss Annie Flood and Mr. and Mrs. Mac Hall. Joshua is a junior at Westover Comprehensive High School where he is a member of the band. Bo Lowe 
enjoys listening to music and hanging out with his friends. Joshua would like to attend North Carolina A&T and major in computer engineering to pursue a career in computer software engineering. Quote, Joshua Lowe attends Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church, where he assists with the soundboard. Presenting, Bo Joshua Lowe. Bo Justin Mims. Bo Justin Tyler Mims is the son of Edward Mims and Paula Metrius Mims. He is the grandson of Mr. and Mrs. Jerome Brazil and Mr. and Mrs. Jean Dowell. Justin is an up-and-coming senior at Westover Comprehensive High School, where he also attends the 4C Academy. Justin is a member of the football and swim team. He is also a member of FBLA and Skills USA. Justin is also a member of the Albany chapter of Jack and Jill of America. His future goal is to attend Louisiana State University or BAMU. He aspires to become either an anesthesiologist or entrepreneur. Bo Justin Mims attends Christ Harvest Church where he serves on the usher board. During Justin's downtime, he enjoys playing video games, hanging out with his friends, and helping his little brother. Presenting Bo Justin Mims. Bo Jordan Moser. Bo Jordan Moser is the son of Kimberly Bodiford and Jason Moser. He is the grandson of Patricia Jackson and Hubert Bodiford and Emma Moser and the late Stephen Moser Sr. His uncle, Darian Jackson, has taken a very active role in his upbringing. Jordan is a junior at Deerfield Windsor Upper School where he serves as co-captain of the Knights, the boys' varsity basketball team. To date, Jordan's proudest accomplishments are having been selected by his school to participate on the 2020 Conversations About Race panel and being selected for the 2019-2020 GISA Boys 3A Basketball All-Region. After graduation, Jordan plans to become either a doctor of physical therapy or a sports medicine professional. Jordan's favorite inspirational quote comes from Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. In Pope Moser's words, becoming a man means demonstrating responsibility, sound decision-making ability, and a willingness and desire to lead by example. Jordan is a member of Christ Harvest Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church, Albany, Georgia, presenting Bo Jordan Moser. Bo Norman Newton Jr. is the son of Norman and Michelle Newton. He is the grandson of Ben and Annie Lunsford and the late Oscar and the late Susie Newton. Bo Norman is a junior at Westover Comprehensive High School where he participates in the marching and symphonic bands as a talented trombonist and received all county honors. Bo Newton is also a sophomore at Albany State University with a dual enrollment and plans to continue his education at ASU after high school graduation and, subsequent, and subsequently transfer to the Georgia Institute of Technology. Bo Norman's Adinkra symbol means the bond that binds from dispute to peacemaker. He chose this symbol because he believes that patience, empathy, and communication can resolve most issues. Bo Newton is an active member of Mount Zion Baptist Church. He serves as co-chairman of the Junior Deacon Board and is a member of the Youth Choir, Youth Praise Team, and the Youth Praise Dancers. Bo Norman's favorite inspirational quote is from his dad. To do things you want to do, you must first do things you have to do. This quote reminds Bo Newton that work comes before play. Lastly, to Bo Newton, becoming a man means learning integrity, accountability, and responsibility. Presenting Bo Norman Newton Jr. Bo 
Adrian Martell Peterson is the son of Mr. Petravius Peterson and Miss Melissa Turnman. He is currently a junior at Lee County High School where he maintains a 3.3. Both Adrian also is enrolled at Albany State University through dual enrollment. He was inducted in the Honor Society at ASU. Adrian plans on attending Columbus State University for four years to pursue a degree in political science. He wants to later attend the University of Georgia for law school to become an attorney specializing in intellectual property. Adrian's favorite inspirational quote comes from Frederick Douglass, and it is, if there is no struggle, there is no progress. In Bo Peterson's words, becoming a man means honoring God, leaving a positive impact on the world and continuously bettering not only yourself, but the people you come in contact with. Adrian attends Leesburg Church of Christ, presenting Bo Adrian Peterson. Bo Brandon Rebels is the youngest son of Apostle Felix and Mrs. Andrea Rebels. He is the grandson of the late Apostle Isaiah and Mrs. Eula B. Rebels and Mr. Joseph and Miss Sophronia Carter. Brandon is a junior at Westover Comprehensive High School where he serves as a bass drummer and a member of FBLA. Bo Brandon also is enrolled at Albany Technical College through dual enrollment. When he's not in school, Bo Brandon volunteers with New Visions Community Development, United Way, and various community organizations. After graduation, Brandon plans to attend college and major in animal science and business management. Brandon's favorite inspirational quote comes from Muhammad Ali, I am the greatest. In Bo Rebel's words, becoming a man means being able to live and support my family to the best of my ability. Brandon attends First Albany Deliverance Cathedral, pastored by his father, Apostle Felix Rebels. Bo Brandon is a faithful member where he serves as lead camera operator on the media team and an assistant children's church teacher. Presenting Bo Brandon Rebels, Bo Jeremiah Isaiah Robinson is the son of Nathaniel and Joy Robinson. Jeremiah is a senior at Lee County High School where he is a member of the football team track and field teams. Additionally, he is a member of DECA and the Sports Management Club. When he's not in school, he volunteers with youth football teams and the Boys and Girls Club. Jeremiah enjoys lifting weights, listening to music, reading, and watching football during his free time. Bo Jeremiah has received numerous recognitions, including a first place written essay, student of the month, and top defensive lineman awards. Bo Robinson's future goal is to succeed in life. He would like to play football in college and become a pharmacist. Bo Jeremiah Robinson attends Mount Zion Baptist Church. Presenting Bo Jeremiah Robinson. Bo Marcus Rashad Ross is the son of Mr. Charles Ross and the late Mr. Frederick Bell and Mrs. Deborah Bell. He is the grandson of Mr. and Mrs. Henry McKinney Jr. Bo Marcus is a junior at Westover Comprehensive High School, where he is a member of the Band and National Honor Society. Bo Marcus enjoys listening to music in his free time. Bo Marcus would like to attend Tuskegee University and major in engineering. Bo Marcus attends Oakey Hill Missionary Baptist Church. Presented, Bo Marcus Ross. Bo Allen Jamar Scott is the son of Mr. Marcus Scott and Mrs. Rochelle Scott. He is currently a dual enrolled junior at Westover Comprehensive High School and Albany State University, where he maintains a 3.0 GPA. He is a member of the marching band, concert band, and future business leaders of America at Westover High, an active member in track and field, basketball, robotics, and the Together Organization for Young Men. Upon graduation, Bo Allen plans to enroll 
and the Distinguished Institution of Higher Learning on a band or academic scholarship. This field of interest is computer science or computer engineering. Though Allen aspires to begin his career with a corporation such as Google or Microsoft. Moreover, Bo Allen is a next generation leader at New Birth Fellowship Church. Bo Allen's Adinkra symbol means God is King. He says, I chose this symbol because it reminds me that God is the head of my life. Bo Allen's favorite quote is, the greatest glory in living lies not in never failing, but rising every time we fall by President Nelson Mandela. This quote inspires Bo Allen never to give up and to persevere. Presented, Bo Allen Scott. Bo Iman C. Bo Iman F. C. is the son of Tiffany V. Thomas and the late Eric L. C. Sr. He is the grandson of Deacon Reuben and Sheila Thomas and Miss Hazel LC. Iman is a senior at Monroe Comprehensive High School. Bo Iman is a four-year member of the football team where he serves as one of the captains. Bo Iman was named All-Region First Team in football his junior and senior year. He also played baseball for three years. Bo Iman has volunteered with many organizations with the First Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church where he is in the Brotherhood. After graduation, Bo Iman plans to attend college and major in business administration. Bo Iman's future goal is to own his own business. Bo Iman's favorite Bible verse is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Presenting Bo Iman C. Bo Preston Simmons. Bo Preston Taren Simmons is the son of Taren and LaShonda Simmons. He is the grandson of Sharon Barlow, Ellen Jenkins, Roger Brown, and Bessie Simmons. Preston is a junior at Lee County High School and is a member of the varsity football team. A skilled athlete, Preston has been named All-Region First Team and All-Region Second Team for football. When he's not in school, he volunteers for the food bank. Bo Preston also enjoys working out, playing games, and reading in his spare time. After graduation, Bo Preston would like to attend Georgia Southern and major in sports medicine. Bo Preston Simmons attends Lickman Cathedral, where he is a member of the youth choir and serves as an usher. Presenting Bo. Preston Simmons, Bo Anthony Strawn Jr. Bo Anthony Kyle T. Strawn is the youngest child of Anthony Strawn and Catherine Kiki Barakis. He is the stepson of John Laster and stepson of Barbara Harvey. He has an older brother, Kyle, one sister, Anthonique, and a family dog, Nyla. Anthony is the grandson of Hubert and Martha Grant and Nick and Debbie Kiki Barakas. He is currently a senior at Westover High School and attends Sherwood Baptist Church. Bo Anthony's extracurricular activities include being an active member of the design team, mechanical team, and programming team of the Robotics Club the academic decathlon team, the foreign language team, the mathematics team, the art club, and the game team. Anthony's passion for math and sciences have allowed him to conduct research in fields such as biochemistry, bioelectrical, and mechanical engineering during summer programs at Albany State University, Tuskegee University, and abroad in the Bahamas. After high school, Anthony plans to pursue a degree in chemical engineering. Anthony's career aspiration is to become a medical researcher and to find vaccines and cures for diseases such as cancer. 
Anthony has been accepted to over 20 universities and offered over $1 million in scholarship funds. Bo, Anthony's favorite Bible verse is Ephesians 3 and 20, and his inspirational quote is, All he knows is what he's not. If only he could see what he is. By Bob Hoskins. Presenting Bo Anthony Strong Jr. Bo Jaden Taylor. Bo Jaden Taylor is the son of Jason Taylor and Tamika Cates. A junior at Westover Comprehensive High School, Jaden is a member of the band, Beta Club, and FBLA. Jaden is an honor roll student who enjoys playing his horn and playing basketball. After graduation, Jaden would like to attend FAMU and major in sports medicine to become either a physical therapist or a sports medicine physician. Bo Jaden Taylor attends Greater Faith Harvest Church where he serves with the media ministry. Presenting Bo Jaden Taylor. Bo William Thomas. Bo William Christian Robier Thomas is the son of Mr. William Thomas Jr. and Mrs. Robin Whitfield Thomas. He is the grandson of the late Robert and Barbarette Whitfield and William Thomas Sr. and the late Mary Helen Thomas. He is currently a senior at Lee County High School where he is a starting forward for the Lee County varsity basketball team. Bo William plans to attend college in the fall to pursue a degree in business and management. Bo Williams and Dinkra symbol represents the importance of the earth in sustaining life. Williams says, I chose this symbol because you have to know how to adapt to the changes in life in order to overcome and succeed them. Bo Williams' favorite quote is, to be a man, you have to beat the man. Lastly, becoming a man means taking the responsibility of caring for family and community. Presenting Bo William Thomas. Bo Dante Walls. Bo Dante Rodriguez Walls is the son of Mr. Roderick Walls and Mr. and Mrs. Shakisia Walls Harris. He is the grandson of Sanders Rayson, Annie Chester, and the late Mr. and Mrs. Johnny Shedd. Dante is a junior at Westover Comprehensive High School, where he is a part of the medical arts program. He is also a freshman at Albany State University, where he majors in foreign language. A member of the track and field team, Bo Dante was named first place region champ in the 4x1, 4x4, region runner-up in the 400 meter, and a three-year state qualifier. Dante plans to attend Georgia State University and major in foreign language while still competing in track and field. His ultimate goal is to compete in the Olympics. Bo Dante Walls attends Ebenezer Christian Center. Bo Dante's Andinkra symbol means courage and valor. Dante says, I chose this symbol because I'm very courageous. Bo Wall's favorite quote is, in order to be extraordinary, you have to do extra. Lastly, becoming a man means to be responsible and to have strength and courage. Presenting Bo Dante Walls. Jacoby Malik Weaver, our beloved president of the 2020 Botillion Club, is the son of Mr. Jason Weaver and Mrs. Tamala Weaver. He is currently a senior at Westover High School, where he maintains a 4.1 GPA in the top 10% of his class and a junior at Albany State University, where he maintains a 3.8 GPA. Through the dual enrollment program, not only does Bo Jacoby classify as a junior, but he graduated this past December with his associate's degree in general studies with magna cum laude honors. Bo Jacoby was the drum major at Westover High School, where he also made district and region honor bands for four years straight and the baritone section leader at Albany State University. Bo Jacoby plans to continue his studies at Jackson State University in Mississippi in the fall of 2020, where he plans to graduate with a degree in 
political science and a minor in music within the next two years. From there, he plans to attend law school at Howard University in Washington, D.C. Bo Jacoby Weaver is a member of the Notchaway CME Church in Newton, Georgia, where he is a member of the Senior Choir and Christian Youth Fellowship. Bo Jacoby is a Denver sign, means greatness, charisma, and leadership. Lastly, I want to leave you with Bo President Jacoby Weaver's favorite quote. Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Presenting Bo Jacoby Weaver. Bo Jarek Braylon Gregory West is the son of Mr. Robert Rodney and Mrs. Chelsea Anderson Rodney and Mr. Gregory B. West. He is the grandson of the late Mr. Jerron Jerry Anderson and Mrs. Velma Anderson and Mrs. Bertha Johnson and Mr. Kenneth Williams. A senior at Westover High, Bo Jarrett is a member of the Marching Patriots Band, where he has served as a drum major since 2018. He has also participated in the concert and symphonic band. He is an honor roll student and has been dual enrolled in college courses for three years. Being very dexterous, Jarek's future goal is to become a dentist. He plans to attend the illustrious Jackson State University and major in biology. Bo Jarek West attends the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah Witnesses. Presenting Bo Jarek West. Bo Calvin Jamal Wicker is the son of Miss Lakeisha Conway and Mr. Calvin Wicker. He is the grandson of Miss Livonia Conway, Mr. Eddie Matt Conway, and Mr. and Mrs. L. H. Wicker. He is currently a senior at Monroe Comprehensive High School where he maintains a 3.0 GPA and has countless recognitions for honor roll. Mo Calvin plans to attend Clark Atlanta University in the fall of 2020 to pursue a degree in business and fashion design. Mo Calvin's Adinkra symbol means peace and harmony. He says, I chose the symbol because it reflects my personality the most. Mo Calvin's favorite quote is, we got dreams and we got the right to chase it. This quote inspires Calvin to chase his dreams and don't let anybody get in his way. Lastly, becoming a man means much more than the physical aspects of what we are told to believe a man is. But becoming a man is mental. Being a man means that you stand on your word. You're reliable, you're trustworthy, you maintain a positive attitude at all times. Presenting Bo Calvin Wicker. Bo Christian Cornelius Wicker is the son of Miss Lakeisha Conway and Mr. Calvin Wicker. He is the grandson of Mrs. Livonia, Miss Livonia Conway, Mr. Eddie Mack Conway, and Mr. and Mrs. L. H. Wicker. He is currently a junior at Monroe Comprehensive High School where he maintains a 3.1 GPA. Bo Christian plans to attend the Georgia Institute of Technology to pursue a degree in architecture. In addition, this talented Bo has received the 2018-2019 All-Region Second Team in Baseball of the Year. Bo Christian's Adinkra symbol means spider's web. Christian says, I chose this symbol because it means wisdom and creativity. Wisdom and creativity are also a huge factor in the architecture business. Bo Christian's favorite quote is, The more you sweat in training, the less you bleed in combat. This quote inspires Christian to work hard for what he wants for a bigger change and better outcome. Lastly, becoming a man means much more than having pure muscle, facial hair, and a job. But becoming a well-rounded leader role model and someone to make greater changes 
in his community. Presenting Bo Christian Whitaker. We are proud of all of these men among men. Ms. Marion Ryan and Ms. Keisha Davis will share the dedication of this year's Military Battalion presentation. Fred, Frederick, Coot, Baby Boy Bell. I've had the awesome pleasure of working with Fred the past 26 years at the unsinkable, yet still standing Albany State University. We have shared and worked with many colleagues. We've had nine presidents and eight vice presidents for the Division of Fiscal Affairs. And we worked together until Fred moved to another department. Fred always had an infectious smile. He either had a joke or two on the move, just never stayed still. He was dedicated, committed, and a hard worker, oftentimes working two jobs at the same time. I don't know how he did it. Whether he was at ASU and Ryan's, ASU Bishop Cleaning, or ASU Albany State University Golden Rams, Fred worked hard. He was a good man. There's so much I could say about my friend, my coworker, Fred, but what I will say and was always was constant with Fred is that he loved his wife, his mom, his children, his family, giving back to his community, serving as a deacon in his church, the Albany Cowboys and Albany State University Rams, and of course, the Ponderosa. Not being from Albany, I thought that was a university. I am so thankful that I had the opportunity to work alongside Fred these past 26 years. He will be missed, but truly not forgotten. And I am sure that our friend Walt is there waiting on him with a big, big smile. We love you, Fred. Fred Bell, he was my friend, my classmate, my comedian, and my brother. He was a true servant to his wife and his family. Fred loved his class, Monroe High School class of 1992. No matter what it took for the class of 1992 to be together, Fred would make sure we were together. He was the glue that held our class together. He did not matter how many times he would come ask me to plan an event and I would say, no, Fred, I'm not planning an event this time for our class. He would not accept no. So of course, I would change my mind and get to planning. Fred and I met in 1988 as freshmen at Morrow High School. We kept a brother-sister relationship until his last days. We lost a good man and a true tornado on April 1st, 2020. Until we meet again. A good bow is charitable. Having an inward disposition of good that promotes generosity. A good bow is honest. Knowing he cannot profit if he is dishonest. A good bow believes in clean play, able to meet both triumph and defeat with a smile on his face. A good bow is cheerful. He comforts and restores hope. A good bow is self-disciplined, remaining calm during turbulent times. A good bow displays tenacity of purpose, completing his duty, leaving no portions of his work undone. A good bow is devout, having an awareness of the unseen presence of God and the realization of the strength to be and to be used derived all from prayer. A good bow has ambition. An ambition rightly used accomplishes great good for humanity and it brings progress to mankind. Initiation rites are a natural and necessary part of a community. These rites of passage for young men are critical to individual community development and provide a vision for the next life phase 
and formal preparation for and celebration of the transition to adulthood. One of our symbols of celebrations is the kente cloth. Kente cloth is made of interwoven cloth strips and is native to South Ghana in West Africa. It was a royal cloth only worn by kings and queen mothers in times of extreme importance. Interwoven into their personalized kente stoles are adinkra symbols chosen by each bow that are symbolic of important concepts in life like knowledge, healing, harmony, love, serenity, fertility, strength, wisdom, beauty, and joy. Hi, I am Devell Young, an internal medicine physician and a proud native of Natchez, Mississippi, and a distinguished alumnus of Morehouse College. Our next phase of the Rites of Passage is a celebration of manhood and fatherhood, the draping of the kente stoves. The master weaver observes how a spider weaves its web. Through the process, the master weaver imitates the spider, and so goes also the weaving of the kente, which means basket. A unique artifact that represents the ability of the master weaver is to observe how the web is successfully woven. In order to prepare on, on the responsibility of master weaver, these young men must see the pattern to imitate. Each of these men has come as a master weaver to pass on their wisdom of how to weave the basket of life. <laughs> Thank you for your interest of promoting our next generation of African-American male leaders. You, as a part of the community, are a village member. An important part of the rites of passage is the commitment of the village to support these young men on their journey. We invite you to participate in the affirmation of community commitment. As each affirmation of commitment is read, please respond with we do. We commit to the 2020 Botillion class to provide preparation to be successful in their social, academic, and professional pursuits. We do. We commit to the 2020 Botillion class to share our wisdom garnered from both our successes and our failures and enjoy the fullness of life and maximize their full potential. We do. We commit to the 2020 Botillion class to envision their success intertwined with our success as another demonstration of the Master Weaver's intentional, purposeful weaving of the basket of life. We have come to the point in our program where we recognize the bows who have gone above and beyond in one or more of the five award categories, attendance, community service, leadership, academics, including GPA and college entrance exam scores, and fundraising. 
Each category was evaluated individually to determine the winners. A 20% weight was applied to each category, and the bow with the greatest number of total points across all categories will be named Mr. Botillion 2020. In addition, Dr. Devell Young will present the Dr. Devell Young My Brother's Keeper Award to the bow voted on and chosen by his peers. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, necessitating a move to the virtual platform, additional dollars were available to allocate monetary awards to our winners in every category tonight. Each award will be presented by one of our prominent community leaders, whom the awards committee believes to be an exemplar of excellence in the award category. We want to thank them in advance for their time and commitment. Our first presenter is Mr. Kyle Jackson. Mr. Jackson is the general manager of Delta Airlines at the Southwest Georgia Regional Airport. He is a graduate of the Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University, class of 95. Mr. Jackson will present the attendance award. George Washington Carver once stated, when you can do the common things of life in an uncommon way, you will command the attention of the world. Simply showing up is noteworthy, and when you show up and work hard, that commands attention. Tonight, we are recognizing a beau who was probably one of the quietest in the battalion club, but his dedication and commitment to the process did not go unnoticed. Tonight, his perfect attendance in school has come full circle. Congratulations to Bo Calvin Wicker, a man among men in attendance. Calvin will receive a $250 check. Albany, Georgia's Ward 6 Commissioner Demetrius Young will present our next award, the Community Service Award. Commissioner Young is a proud graduate of the unsinkable Albany State University. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what can we do for others? Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Indeed, we all have an obligation to serve our community and each other. This is where we receive our blessings. Dr. King also stated that anyone can be great because anyone can serve. Tonight, we recognize a servant leader. The bow being recognized for this award this evening comes from a family of servant leaders and he's following in his big brother's footsteps. Our Man Among Men Community Service Award goes to Bo Brandon Revels. Brandon will receive a $250 check. Congratulations, Brandon. Mr. Brian Jones, youth pastor of Mount Zion Baptist Church, will present the Leadership Award. Mr. Jones is a graduate of Georgia State University. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. Denzel Washington. Being a leader is not easy. It requires confidence, focus, resilience, strength, and grace. The bow being recognized tonight lives his life in a way that gives God the glory. He started his own organization, serves others in the community, and understands that in all things to give thanks. Tonight, we recognize a bow who has exemplified leadership throughout his Botillion experience. Our Man Among Men Leadership Award recipient is Bo Emmanuel Dean. Emmanuel will also receive a check for $250. Congratulations, Emmanuel Dean. Mr. Kenneth Dyer, Superintendent of the Doherty County School System, will present our academic awards for GPA, and highest college entrance exam score for junior and senior. Mr. Dyer is a graduate of the unsinkable Albany State University. Marcus Garvey once said, never forget that intelligence rules the world and ignorance carries the burden. Therefore, remove yourself as far as possible from ignorance and seek as far as, far as possible intelligence. These next awardees have demonstrated their intelligence through their academic excellence in the classroom. They have defied the statistics about African-American students not performing well on standardized tests and have exemplified nothing short of academic excellence 
as evidenced by having the highest GPAs and highest college entrance exam scores amongst their junior senior class peers in the 2020 Botillion Club. Each boat in this category will receive a $250 check. Our Man Among Men Academic Award for Highest GPA Junior is Bo Preston Jones. Our Man Among Men Academic Award for Highest GPA Senior is Bo Jacoby Weaver. Our Man Among Men Academic Award for Highest College Instance Exam Score Junior is Bo Preston Jones. Our Man Among Men Academic Award for Highest College Instance Exam Score Senior is Bo Anthony Strong. Our next awards the fundraising awards will be presented to the top three fundraisers for the Botillion 2020 year. This award will be presented by Mr. Dominique Riggins, teacher at Robert Cross Middle Magnet School and proud alumnus of Claflin University. The Albany chapter of Jack and Jill of America Incorporated graciously gives back a portion of all proceeds collected from the Botillion Club to the top three bows who exceeded their $850 participation fee. The remainder of the proceeds are given back to local community programs of the Botillion Club's choosing. The bow receiving awards tonight are as follows. Our Man Among Men third place fundraising award goes to Bo Norman Newton Jr. Norman will receive a $500 award. Our Man Among Men second place fundraising award goes to Bo Allen Scott. Allen will receive a $750 award. Our Man Among Men first place fundraising award goes to Bo Preston Jones. Preston Jones will receive a $1,000 award. Our next award, the Dr. Devell Young My Brother's Keeper Award, will be presented by Dr. Devell Young, physician and medical associates of Albany and president of the Griffin Jordan Medical Society. Dr. Young is a graduate of Morehouse College and Brown University Medical School. This award is special because it is the only award voted on by the young men in the Botillion Club. Each bow was asked to nominate a bow who exemplifies the following characteristics. One, someone who is trustworthy and that you feel you could count on in times of need, emotionally, spiritually, or as a friend. Two, someone who reaches out to help others within the Botillion Club, at school, or in the community. Number three, someone who can relate to others with empathy and understanding. Four, someone who promotes understanding and harmony in the Botillion Club by helping to solve conflicts and disagreements. And number five, someone who identifies and actively responds to those in need with compassion and a heart of service. These are also characteristics that we attribute to Dr. Young, who raised all five of his children in Jack and Jill of America Incorporated, along with his wife, Loretta Young. The bow receiving this award will also receive an authentic piece of wall art that has a personal adinkra symbol at the top and several other adinkra symbols as a reminder of the brotherhood that he exemplifies. It was best said by Desmond Tutu, my humanity is bound up in yours, but we can only be human together. The bow being recognized for the My Brother's Keeper Award was chosen by his peers, and that is one of the greatest honors to be chosen by those who are your equal. As per this award, this bow is trustworthy, compassionate, harmonious, and has inherent leadership abilities. His Adinkra symbol, which also embodies the spirit of the Brothers Keeper Award, is called Adinkra Hene, the chief of the Adinkra symbols. It represents greatness, charisma, and leadership, and is believed to be the inspiration for the designing of all other Adinkra symbols. So today, with pride, and with the true spirit of our ancestors, I would like to recognize Bo Jacoby Weaver for upholding the values and characteristics of the My Brother's Keeper Award. You, my brother, are a man among men. Our final award category of the evening will be presented by Mr. Martez Favis, Assistant Principal at Lamar Reese Elementary School. 
Mr. Favors is a proud alumnus of the unsinkable Albany State University. This award is the grand finale of awards as it represents the Bow who excelled in numerous categories across the board and had the highest total points at the end of each category's calculation. Those categories again include attendance, academics, community service, fundraising, and leadership. The awards will be presented in the following order. Mr. Botillion, second runner-up, Mr. Botillion, first runner-up, and Mr. Botillion, 2020. Mr. Botillion, second runner-up is Bo Allen Scott. Mr. Scott will receive a check for $500. Congratulations, Bo Allen Scott. Mr. Botillion, first runner-up, is Bo Anthony Strawn. Mr. Strawn will receive a check for $750. Congratulations, Bo Anthony Strawn. Mr. Botillion 2020 is Bo Preston Jones. Mr. Jones will receive a check for $1,000. Congratulations, Bo Preston Jones. On behalf of the Botillion 2020 Awards Committee, congratulations to all the man among men Botillion participants. Bows who won awards and monetary gifts should pick up their awards on Sunday, July the 19th, 2020. Location and time will be communicated in the parent group me. Awards Committee, Nidra Fortson Chair, Ramey Hutchins, Hope Solomon, Ashley Overstreet Smith. As the outgoing president of the amazing Albany chapter of Jack and Jill of America Incorporated, I am excited to present to you the mothers of the Albany chapter. To our mentors and elders, it takes a village to raise a child. Thank you for being a part of our village and for your time and energy devoted to the 2019-2020 Jack and Jill Botillion Club. It is so important for men to see mentors and elders in their community as role models for critical thinking, life planning, responsibility, and academic success. You have truly been a valued part of the process for this bow class, and we thank you. Mr. Demetrius Love, Mr. Michael McCoy, Reverend Brian Jones, Reverend Dr. Ronnie Arrington, Representative Winford Dukes, Mr. Martez Favis, Mr. Marcus Arnett, Dr. DeVille Young. Again, we say thank you for your service. We would like to say thank you to the Jack and Jill Associates and our generous community donors. Your financial support in the 2019-2020 Jack and Jill Botillion Club and investment in us as future leaders was critical to the completion of our rites of passage. Through your donation, we were able to benefit from quality programming, extraordinary learning experiences, and forge unforgettable bonds of brotherhood and friendship. We are also excited to sow a seed of giving back into the Albany community in support of the following organizations. Boys and Girls Club of Albany, Georgia, Missions Change, Open Arms, Samaritan's Clinic, Cancer Ties, and the National Alliance of Mental Illness. You have truly been an invaluable part of our village and we would like to say thank you. Out of the night that covers me. Black as a pit from pole to pole. I uh, thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstances, I have not yet reached or cried aloud. Under the bludgeoning of chance, my head is bloody, but I'm bowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade. Yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charred with punishments and scroll. I'm the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. 
I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate and the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. And I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. You have now completed your journey in due form. Go, you are now dismissed.